You're watching NBC Sports, home of the NASCAR race for the championship. MRN is here at the Great Southern Tradition, the annual Southern 500 here at the Darlington Raceway in Darlington, South Carolina. Every driver who comes here has one goal in mind. Don't add any paint to the wall. What makes Darlington so tough? Well, this is an A-shaped track with different lengths and different bankings in the east and west turns. That makes it very tough for the drivers. But the question is, why is it egg-shaped? Well, when it was built, the landowner decided he didn't want his minnow farm disturbed, so they simply pinched in the corners of what is now turns three and four to give it the distinctive egg shape that it's now famous for. The 83 car has been getting into it heavily on the track with the 49 car. Quite honestly, I think his driving has gotten a little out of control. It's one thing to be out there driving aggressively and fighting for position, but he's gone over the line as of late. Jeremy Mayfield really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. Now, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today.
Starting from row seven will be the 32 car and the Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge. In the eighth row are the 99 car and the U.S. Army Pontiac. In the ninth row, we have the low Chevrolet and the Valvoline Pontiac. In the tenth row are the GM Goodrich Chevrolet and the Caterpillar Dodge. Starting the race from row 11 are the Dodge Dealers UAW Dodge and the Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet. The twelfth row has the Sterling Marlin Dodge and the O2 car. Starting the race from row 13 will be the Hooters Ford and the Cheerios Dodge. In row 14 we have the UAW Delphi Chevrolet and the Haviland Dodge. Starting from row 15 will be the Kodak Max Film Pontiac and the America Online Chevrolet. In the 16th row are the Singular Wireless Chevrolet and the Stacker 2 Dodge. In the 17th row are the BAM Racing Dodge and the Dr. Pepper Dodge. In the 18th row are the Georgia Pacific Dodge and the 57 car. Starting the race from row 19 are the Granger Ford and the Civil Air Patrol Chevrolet. The 20th row has the Net Zero Pontiac and the Team Rusty Dodge. Starting the race from row 21 will be the Pennzoil Chevrolet and the Target Dodge. And finally, starting from the rear of the field will be the five car. Welcome, Arab folks, to race 25 at 36. I'm here at Darlington Racer here in Darlington, South Carolina for the running of the Mountain Dew Southern 500. As you saw, our lineup, I qualified on the pole for today's race. And I believe, I don't know what the standings are, but I think I'm in third in points right now. I think Newman is leading right now. But here we go. 36 laps on the Lady in Black. Oh, come on. Really? All right, the Lady in Black. The green flag's out at Darlington. Coming out turn three and four. I just smacked the wall there. Coming out turn three and four, and Bubba Labani leads the first lap here at Darlington. Hit the wall. Here goes Mark Martin underneath me. What a contact! Whoa, whoa, in the wall again. I said can get a run on Mark Martin. Oh come on! Oh god, I had an itch there. Ooh. Whoa, got loose there. Yeah, I'm gonna smack the wall here. Yep, knew that. I think you see I'm running uh, a Chevrolet paint scheme, kind of a basic paint scheme. You know, uh, there wasn't really like a throwback paint scheme that could do that could do. Um, but just want to do this is like a one race paint scheme for me. You know, I guess do something basic and different. So I decided to pick the Chevrolet paint scheme, and oh my god, my car is so loose. Coming to the line, up five complete, now 1.4 seconds behind Bobby Labani. So I can get a run on Martin to maybe catch up. 
Yeah, I'm closing in on Martin. Just a bit, inch by inch. Lap six complete. Yeah, I'm catching up. 1.1 now is the gap. Ooh. Martin held me up big time there. I went to the high side, so I didn't hit him, but I almost hit the wall. Got a nice run with Martin again. Uh, Martin's going to block me down all the way to the inside. The six car, Here we go, side by side for a second. And I'm going to take that spot away from Martin. Do the back straight away. I now clear Martin for second. Now I'm trying to catch up to Bobby, Labonte, Bobby Labonte in the 18 car west right now. Let all eight laps here at Darlington. Oh ho ho, got a nice run on Labonte. Big run on Labonte. Don't, don't hit the wall. Here we go. And Labonte went up high to block. Here we go to the inside. Side by side for the lead. Out on turns one and two. Oh. And I'm going to clear Mark. But I'm going to hit the ball. Hit the, hit the ball. Hit the wall. I said hit the ball. Whoa. In the inside of Mart, no, Martin Labonte again. I also said uh, the last lap, or the lap before, uh, I said Martin. I called him Martin again, and I just smacked the wall. Oh, I got into Labonte a bit there. Side by side, I'm going to clear Labonte. Yes, I do. Don't hit the wall. You just hit the wall. Sick. But I lead this lap. No, oh, don't hit the wall. Don't hit the. Ah, uh, I said don't hit the wall, and you, you're gonna hit the walls. Nice. All right, but I'll clear Mark, 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 Labani. How many times am I calling Labani Martin? And oh my God. Nice spot to. Uh, I had to lock the gas because we go for throttle. It's gonna hit the wall. Yep. And folks, I bought a new uh, PS2 controller that won't have these problems. Hopefully it comes here this week because right now this is pissing me off, this controller. We're just a few laps away from halfway in the Darlington, uh, High Darlington and Southern 500. Right now, we should see cars go on pit road probably two or three laps away. Big one on Labonte to the inside. I'm going to blow right by him, and I'm going to take the lead back down to turns three and four. Just got on the brakes, and I'm going to hit the wall, yeah. And Labonte, oh no, oh no. Oh, my bad, Labonte. Oh, shoot. Oh no, my bad, Labonte. I try to come down. I did not right, did not want to wreck him on purpose. I tried to come down on him to make like a crossover move, and I guess I wasn't clear. If you're probably wondering, you know, why does why don't you? Right now, I have my TV. My TV is not muted. You know, my TV's. Oh, he needs his teammate Tony Stewart. Right now, my um. <clears throat> My TV is muted, and the reason why. Uh, and wow, no one's coming on pit road. <laughs> Wrong call on pit road. The reason why that I have the TV muted is because uh, when I put my headset into the computer, so I can try and hear the sound, I have to put the audio in there. I have to turn that on. When I do that, I can hear my voice, and my voice is like an echo. You know, let's, if you say hello, it will say hello, hello. 
it's like an echo sound. It does that every time you talk. It gets really annoying, so I can't really do anything. And if I turn up the TV, then the mic will pick up and it will cause like a noise effect. So that's why I can't. Oh my god, literally. Ugh! That's why I can't hear my spotter or my crew chief or anything. We're starting in the back. So yep, out 43rd. But. But. Drivers are gonna come up here in about two laps. Because there's no way. I was on halfway at lap 13 or 14. So I know there's no way they're not gonna last full the whole race. Because I'm on fresher tires, sir. So I'm gonna probably pick up spots anyways. Maybe they. You see that line? I'm gonna probably stay back. I'm gonna stay back and wait till they come up here. Yep, there. Because I remember last time something like this happened. I was on the inside lane. I was fighting for position on track. I forgot about cars that did not come on pit road. They were coming on pit road. I forgot about that. And I ran into the back of one of those drivers. I was coming on pit road. And I caused a caution. So that's why I was just laying back. Say, okay, don't get into anyone. So yeah, it was Kenny Wallace in a 23 car. Can't just lay back, I'm not gonna force anything. Gonna blow right by Wallace side by side for 20 for 20th. What's Rusty Wallace and Steve Park? Blow right by them. There's Ken Schrader in the 49 car. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was at Bristol I caused some controversy with him. I'm gonna get by him. Ooh. There's uh, Michael Waltrip, now Jeff Gordon and Dale Jerry come on pit road. Michael Waltrip and Jimmy Murray battling for 14th. Blow right by them to take that spot. There we go. Oh, and loose again. But I still gonna get by Elliot Sadler. Remember, all these drivers are on worn tires. So right now, this could play into my advantage. You see Bobby Lee, not Bobby, uh, Jeremy Mayfield and Jeff Burton. There's Kevin Harvick in the 29 car. Get by him for 10th. There's Ricky Craven. And wow, he's got a nice different paint scheme there. That's nice. And there's Matt Kenseth. And Mark Martin coming up pit road right now. Tony Stewart in the 20 car. And there's Bobby Labani. Labani, I'm so sorry. Well, I'm gonna go on the inside, maybe. So if he hits me, okay, it won't hit me. Blow well, right by Kirk Bush. There's Ricky Rudd, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Third and second. Ah! Whoa! Holy cow! And Rudd just cut right behind me. Jeff Corns on period. I'm gonna. Cycle through as the leader. Ooh, ah, in the wall. Coming to the line, we got 13 laps to go here at Darlington. Right now, Kevin Harvick is 25 seconds behind. I'm in turn two. Harvick just entered turn two, and I'm in the back straight away there now in the center of turns one and two. Oop. Lap 25 complete, 12 laps to go here at Darlington. Right now, Bobby Labonte, I'm the only driver on the lead lap. That's how it's going right now. So Bill Elliott is in second in the nine car. One lap down. I can just take my time right now. I'll be the only, I'm the only, oh, whoa, whoa. Something just happened. 
Now one thing now I want to do is I want to be the only driver on the lead lap. And the thing is is that if I hit the wall, I don't want to hit the wall too many times because maybe I could blow my engine up. And I will throw a caution. I know I got the repair button, but I want to be the only driver on the lead lap. So I'm just gonna take it easy. Oh. Hit the wall. Coming to the line, we have 10 laps to go here in Darlington. His strategy could make me the only driver on the lead lap. And that could also make me close down this championship race between me, Ryan Newman, and Jeff Gordon. Believe I came in third into this race in standings. I know I was terrible at Michigan. That's why I fell back so much. That's how Newman got the points lead, I believe. And then Bristol, I had a pretty good run, came inside the top 10. But I was still behind, so hopefully I can make some ground with this win. Nine to go. How is there smoke still there? All right. Oh. And also, folks, I just want to say right now, thank you guys so much for 800 subscribers right now. And, um, <laughs> last race, or last race at Bristol, I sold everyone to make, like, a like a top five list or whatever. I was pretty disappointed. Not because not a lot of people, um, entered. I, oh my god, come on. I would expect not all of you guys, you know, listen, because I said that, I think, during the in outro. I know a lot of people don't listen to outros, so... I was expecting much, but still, like, a few people, um, spoke about it, but one thing that's disappointing is that none of you said that I was inside the top five, which, hopefully now this will prove it, with piss strategy, I know it's not the way to win a race, because, um, I kind of caused a caution, and then I, I did not want to, I did not want to, you know, I tried to cross over on Labani through the back straightaway, and I didn't, and I thought it was clear, but guess not. But still, I mean, they should have came on pit road, let's be honest. I mean, you're not going to come on pit road and you're three laps away from the halfway mark. I mean, it was just stupid. Six to go. Yeah, right now my right front tire is a bit worn. Five to go at Darlington. Right now it's me, Bill Elliott, Ryan Newman, Sterling Marlin, and I think it was either Ster or Elliott Sadler or Dale Jarrett. I know there was an eight at the end because you couldn't tell it was 38 or 88. Four to go. And yeah, it was... Oh, it was Dale Jarrett. All right. And a caution! No! Oh, that was for me. I know. I saw the roof come up. That is not good. It was for me that caused it. Oh, shoot. Wait, I don't know if that could mean like a, a one-lap dash at a finish, maybe. Caution has come out at lap 34 with three laps to go as I come across the line. That could still be the race. That could still be the race. It was, it was my hood. I know. I saw what happened. My hood came off. I don't think it was show it now. Nah, it doesn't show it, but I knew my, no, my hood came off. I saw the Chevrolet logo on the bottom of the track. I'm like, that's not supposed to be there. <clears throat> no, I'm not coming on pit road. And yes! Come to the line. I win the Mountain Dew Southern 500. And I'm the only driver on the lead lap. Look at that. Wow. Woo, we. Yeah, let's do some celebrating. Yeah. Woo! It's a nice win. And sadly, none of you all get 10 bucks. <laughs> I know it might seem kind of harsh, but. 
Even though I did say it, I was hoping I didn't have to, you know, give it out, but... I think I don't have to now, but... Yes! Not only that, I gained a lot of points in the championship standings, because I don't think I saw Gordon in the top ten. Not very many caution laps in this one. Well, I can assure you, all those guys who finished in the back would have like seen more cautions. Gives them a chance to make adjustments without the penalty of going a lap down. They just didn't have that luxury this time. The 83 car comes away with a win. That team deserves it. They worked hard all race long, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of celebrating tonight. The 83 car now has one less friend in the garage area. I'm not sure how all this got started, but now that they have a little history on the track, it'll be something to watch in the weeks ahead. Yeah, me and Bobby Labonte. I'm really sorry, Labonte. But to be honest, all of you guys should come on pit road. But here we go. Me and Victory Lane at Darlington. That's cool. I won the Daytona 500. I won the Coca-Cola 600. And now I win the Darlington. Now I win the Southern 500. Didn't win the Brick Car 400. But I did win the Southern 500. Get on top of the car. There you go. That looks nothing like me, but okay. <laughs> Man, I do wish they would. They could add this in um, uh, NASCAR Heat Evolution. Which, by the way, there are some gameplay right now um, from IGN. I saw there was also a teaser in the Coke Zero 400. We saw like NBC type of graphics. Which I hope they will like bring into it like from Fox and everything. I hope that's not just like a promotion. Yep, there we go. I hope they have this type of victory lane, not like NASCAR 15. That, I didn't like that one. You know, just, it looked fake, let's be honest. All right, let's look at the, oh, I got a night track, there we go. Okay, so all of them did come in the top 10. Please look at all the race results here. I led half of the race. <laughs> Holy cow, I led half of the race. Look at that margin of victory. One lap. <laughs> so, I won the, the Southern 500 leading 18 of 36 laps. Took home 185 points with Bill Elliott in second. Newman third, Sterling Martin fourth, Dale Tripp fifth. Matt Kenseth sixth, Jeff Gordon seventh, Mark Martin eighth, Ward Burn ninth, and Jeff Burn runs to the top ten. Dude, wow. Oh yeah, Bob Bonnie. My bad, Bonnie. I'm so sorry. Let's see if any drivers are tired from the race. Nope. Everyone came in. Let's see if there's drivers that started. Deep high in the field, other than Labani. Yeah, Elliot Sadler, qualified ninth, comes on 22nd. Tony Stewart, Kurt Bush. How about Terry Labani? Qualified dead last and comes home in 17th. Pretty good. Yes! So now let's see how the championship standings will stack up. So right now, right now would have been the cutoff for the Sprint Cup or the Winston Cup. If you're running the chase mode, but um, and it's cool. Yeah, I personally love the chase mode because now that means let's say if you're eighth in standings and you're in the chase, now you have a shot at winning the championship. But I have a feeling it's coming down to me, Brian Newman, and Jeff Gordon. I just have this feeling. I don't think anyone else is gonna catch up. And here we go. Let's check out the stats. Excuse me. And wow, 37 points ahead of Ryan Newman. And 189 points ahead of Jeff Gordon. Wow, so right now, maybe, yeah, I think it's us three. It's gonna be me, Ryan Newman, and Jeff Gordon. I think it's gonna be three running for the championship in Miami. <clears throat> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow! Look at that, nine start. Oh. Green. Oh, so, yeah, those are the uh, chase. Or not chase, right? But, um. Drivers that are part time. Let's see how many wins. Are. So, Neiman check got three pulls, three wins. Ryan Neiman got three wins. How much did Gordon get? I got 10. <laughs> I got 10 career wins. Now, our trends is 9.9. .9. Wow. Where is, uh, Jeff Gordon? 11.1 .1 has two wins. <coughs> Here's your awards for Darlington. Wow! I picked up four of the six um, awards. I led the most laps, I won the poll, I set the fast out of the race, and I'm the best finishing rookie. So I take home $22,000. That is good. 
Wish it was in Karima, but hey, whatever. Jimmy Johnson made the most exciting pass of the race, takes on 3K, and Terry Labonte, like I said, went from 43rd to 17th in this race. <clears throat> So he picked up 26 spots, he takes home 3k as well. So right now, Chevy dominated this race. Look at that, every single one of the awards goes to Chevy. These are based on Rick of the Year awards. Here's the Pole Award. Gordon has 8, I have 5, but Newman has 3. He's a Manufacturer Championship. 38 points, the Chevy ahead of Ford. Wait, was it 38, was it? And then... 45, I think. Dodge and Pontiac is 80. Remember, this was Pontiac's last year because they only had Ricky Craven, I think, and a few others. After Joe Gibbs left, they just fell. They fell. And here's what champion I passed Jeff Gordon. Me and Jeff Gordon were tied for the championship for the past three races at like 128 or so. And I finally passed him. And kind of weird, the top three in the championship standings are the top three with the most laps led. 139, 128, and 100. Wow, wow, wow. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode of NASCAR Racing or NASCAR on UK, next race will be a 10 lap race to the championship in Miami. There was Chevy Rock and Roll 400 at Richmond International Raceway, NASCAR on UK, and I'll see you at Richmond.